We've all experienced this little square sketching part of ZBrush when we first open it. But have you ever wondered why it's there in the first place? ZBrush was originally created as a 2.5D program, a program that lets you paint, but saves depth information. Think of it as a painting program with a 3D rendering engine built inside. Instead of painting with pixels, like you would in most painting software, you paint with pixels, P-I-X-O-L. That means that the pixel inside of ZBrush is special and it stores depth, material, color information, as well as some other things. So how do we use it? I'm going to press Ctrl N to clear the canvas and I'm going to start off with this simple brush. You can, for example, change the alpha of the simple brush to draw something more interesting. You can change the material and color. You can import models and stamp them on. For example, this gear 3D right here. You can stamp on as many as you'd like. You can also move the elements that you have added onto your canvas by pressing W, E, or R. However, this will only let you adjust the latest one you've applied. W stands for move, E for scale, and R for rotate. Or you can just use the buttons up here. So when I turn on the move mode, I can simply grab it and move it around. E will let me scale it, and R will let me rotate. To go back to draw mode, simply press Q, and then we can start putting these in our scene. There are a lot of very cool brushes that are only available when you are in 2.5D mode. Let's explore. The simple brush, as we saw before, allows you to paint on with an alpha. You can blend some stuff in even. Then the eraser brush allows you to use an alpha to erase anything from your canvas, like so. Let's change alphas. Perhaps I'll use this one here. Cut in some edges. You can use the deco brush to paint on some textures. And notice how it stretches out the texture too as you go. It's very interesting to play with. Here's another good texture to use with it, Texture 02. This is so much fun. Next we have the snake hook brush, which allows you to pull and stretch any part of your 2.5D painting. And a ton of other brushes that are really fun to experiment with. Keep in mind that this is an illustration and not a 3D model. Therefore, you should treat it as such by saving it as a document and not as a 3D model. Hope you really have fun with this mode.